Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 35, and this is war number four. And we're going up against an alliance called Alpha <laughs> Alpha Empire Ensemble or Assemble. All right. Um let's go ahead and see who they banned. Okay, Hercules, uh, Human Torch, and Doom. And let's go ahead in here. I can now spectate like I used to because I see that I can check the bands right off that screen there. All right. So I take, oh, wow. I got to do deal with a, a man thing right off the bat. Okay. So man thing is that first node there. And then we've got cosmic uh, ghost rider. Uh, ghost fade already took out the mini. We got the. Middle here, Domino. Mm. I guess I could bring Warlock for that. We'll see. We'll see if I do. I don't know. Um, we got Null there, who I most likely won't be taking, because by the time he's free, um, I'll be asleep. We got Super Scroll. Ooh-wee. And Tigra. And as the mini, Black Panther Civil War. All right. And uh, Mini Boss Island is already handled. Makes things much easier for me in my planning. I can plan just for my paths and the minis. So my standard team, Claire, Warlock, and uh, Nick Fury. Let me see. Yeah, Claire should be able to handle this man thing. I don't know. Static defense is what really annoys me, but we'll see. If I die, I die. But I think Claire, if I stay in poison mode, should be able to do this fight. Let me see. What is the uh, global they got here? Unstoppable armor. Mm, of course. Hate that one. All right. Well, let's jump in here and get to the fighting. All right. We are back. And this is the team that I'm going in with. Nick Fury, Claire, and Warlock. All right. Now, this war is before uh, the left side here. Uh, before we started really talking and uh, planning out, you know, our attack here. Uh, but anyway, this first fight against Man-Thing, I was actually surprised that they uh, placed Man-Thing there because usually you see Man-Thing, you know, on node 20 up there as the mini. Uh, but here, he's not going to be all that difficult for Claire to take care of. Uh, I know one of my Alliance mates was asking, shouldn't Claire be able to handle him on the mini? If you uh, stay in a poison, curse of poison, or a plague. And yes and no. It seems to be um, dicey. I've been on that node. I've been able to take out Man-Thing, but I've also died to Man-Thing. Uh, I think uh, Shox took me out uh, on that node. But see here, you don't really have to worry about all of that. You know, you're in poison mode, you're good. So this is a much easier uh, man thing. Honestly, uh, I, I would not have placed uh, the man thing here because he's uh, quite easy to deal with. Uh, but on that node 20, yeah, he is a pain. Uh, later on, we uh, discussed uh, how we were gonna handle it uh, on node 20 when we saw man thing there but at this point in time we haven't uh done any of that and we didn't need to for this particular uh war all right so man thing goes down pretty easily uh not anything i had to really deal with i kind of played it you know careful slow you know because of the uh global all right so the next fight is a uh, cosmic ghost rider and you could already see the mini was already taken uh, by my alliance mate. So here we go. We've got 
you know, all that global, all that good stuff, but still not a, a difficult fight. If you know how to evade his specials, it's really not that bad for Claire at all. I don't care if I push him to a special two, if he fires uh, his special one, that's fine. Um, I can evade both of them. This one, of course, is nice and easy. If I mess up the second, his uh, special two, it can wreck me. Um, but the uh, special one doesn't usually do too much. See right there, no problem. Ba Boom, we're good. Okay, so very easy uh, to fight him, but you do not want to get hit by uh, his specials. You just don't. All right, so uh, that was section one. Uh, the mini was already taken down and we did not mess with that domino. Warlock could do that fight, but I always mess up. And that backup recovery will get me and it's just a mess. Okay, but Warlock can do that fight. I have done the fight successfully with Warlock. Uh, but much rather folks that are used to the fight that can deal with it. And look at this. The boss is still up, so I still got to deal with um, the uh, global, but I'm not going to uh, need to take that boss. So the first fight in Section 2 is Super Skrull, who I really don't like fighting. And on top of the global, I was tempted to wait until they got the boss down so I didn't have to deal with the global. But I was like, you know what, whatever. Let's just do it. Um, did not want to die. So went ahead and did invulnerability because I know, I know from fighting this guy, Things can go wrong real quick and it don't take much, you know, just an unstoppable bam in the middle of my combo and I'm getting wrecked. See, like that, look at that, boom. No more indestructible, just like that. Look at this, it's really annoying. I'm like, how am I supposed to hit him? And I'm like, good night, you know, I was in the corner, he's just firing heavies off and I cannot evade his heavy. And, you know, you see here, I'm just, like, nervous. I'm like, okay, can, can I hit him now? You know, is it okay now? You know, I hate that special of his. All right, so here we go. I just had to get out of there. Um, I was in Curse of Blood, so I got back a little bit of the health uh, that I lost there. Still getting that health back, pushing him back. And we took back charge of this fight. Like I said, I hate fighting Super Scroll. And uh, that invulnerability came in clutch, didn't it? Hate it. But he's down. Right off the bat, we did. We got the exact thing that I was worried about. Unstoppable in the middle. Just like hit what? Boom. And, and he's just hitting me. Um, but we got him down. And uh, the next fight, which is going to be the last fight uh, for me of this war, is against Tigra. Well, I'm coming in with um, Nick Fury. In case she does some kind of shenanigans, I've got the life model decoy up. The invulnerability was still active. Let's do it. Very relaxed. I know that I'm going to win this fight. For her to beat me, you know, the invulnerability, she'd have to hit me three times, then get through my life model decoy, then get me. And that's not gonna happen. I'm not that bad, you know? So here we go, look at that, yeah. All that, not worried about it. She's gonna bleed out if she just sits back. Boom. I could have fired my special two off right there and took her out, but it was more fun to let her bleed out. All right, so that's it for my participation in the war. I was able to get through and I did a decent job. And we have, um, I think at this time, we've brought in some uh, boss killers. Uh, they're used to like um, Platinum One Wars. And they wanted to take a step back and relax a little bit more. 
All right. So after a brief intermission, we're going to come back and you're going to find out how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. However, uh, there were some internal changes that were made and things are going to be much different uh, going forward uh, this season. So that's going to do it, guys. Uh, let me show you how close this war was, by the way. Look at this. Look at this. One attack bonus, really. OK, if we didn't have people running in and dying repeatedly losing attack bonuses and things like that, we would have won this one. This was a totally winnable war. Um, but again, some changes were made and uh, things are going to be different uh, for the rest of the season. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.